What is up YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games and in today's video we're going to be covering how to get all of the unknowns in Pokemon Legends Arceus and there are currently 28 unknowns in the game and we have not gotten any of them so this guide is going to show you the location of every single unknown in order of location and the first location is Jubilife City. So starting at our house, our row of houses right next to the headquarters, we're just going to head right behind the building here and bam we get our unknown question mark and to catch it just gotta throw a pokeball at it it's gonna automatically be caught and there we go we got our very first unknown which is honestly really cool you can't actually battle i mean you can you can use them in battle but you can't actually battle them you just throw a pokeball and catch them which is pretty nice the hard part is actually just finding them right so our next one is a little bit trickier you can see on the back side of the Magikarp, next to the um, the training grounds here, you can see there is an unknown. And this one's going to be a little bit harder. You're going to need a Jet Ball or something to throw it far and try to hit it. It is one of the harder ones to aim. may take a couple of tries to actually get there. But, you know, you can definitely do it. It is, it is a little bit trickier to hit this one. And you may want to shoot a little bit lower. And we got it. All right. We had to hit it a little bit lower than usual. So you don't want to actually put the dot right on it. You want to go a little bit lower. That, that's a little bit interesting how the jet ball actually progressively goes up. And then our last one is actually going to be very easy to get. Uh, we're just going to go down to the beginning of the village, actually. This one's hitting in a really good way, in my opinion. I really like the location of this unknown. And this unknown can be located at the beginning of the village area right here and this area of right on the front gate and looking right where the h would be right here we get the h unknown next up are all the unknown that can be found in the obsidian field lands and our very first one is going to be past the alpha heracross in growling grove on this little island we're going to be seeing a unknown e just hanging on the tree and that's a very easy and well hidden unknown right there our next unknown is at the top of the ascidian falls you're going to need to have sneezler or the ability to fly to get up here but at the top of the city and falls you can actually see an unknown just hanging out right on this rock right here a little bit of a far catch but not too bad at all and that's another unknown for our decks our next unknown is hanging out right behind lake veridity and you can access this right when you get the ability to surf and it's just hanging out right behind the cave entrance and we can just throw a pokeball and bam there we go unknown eye has been captured and our next unknown can be found over at the dam where the barrel alpha spawns and unknown s is just chilling right on this patch of sticks right over here so right when you cross the bridge you'll be able to see it and the final unknown of the obsidian field lands can be found on the grand train arena at the big tree we're actually going to need to use Sneasler to climb up this tree. And up this tree, there is going to be an unknown right over here. It's a little bit hard to see. The game will just naturally stop you. So once you're on the branch, ooh, you can try to get off the branch. It can be a little bit tricky, as you see there. And bam, that is where we get unknown X. Up next is Unknown A, which can be found in the Crimson Mirelands, and is actually just hanging out on the top of this Diamond Clan tent. And this is actually where the side ducks are located if you are doing the special side quest, side duck quest during the game. Next up is Unknown D, which can be found up at the campfire for part of the story. And it's actually just hanging out on this little tree stump waiting for us to be caught. Very easy to get. Unknown K can be found at the Shrouded Ruins behind this stone formation that is next to the cliff side. Then just another look at it, right where all the stones are is going to be right here. Unknown M can be found over in the Sludge Mound area, and right over on this tree stump you'll find Unknown M. Just make sure to hit it. <laughs> Has a weird hitbox on that one. The last unknown in the Crimson Mirelands can be found right over here in the Scarlet Bog. We're going to have to be quick on this one on this tree because we are currently being attacked. So this is definitely one of those they are going to have to watch out for. But right next to where the Hippowdon spawns, you'll be able to get that unknown. Now for Cobalt Coastlands Unknown. So our first one can be found right next to the Alpha Ninetales 
over up on the volcano and this can be a little bit trickier to get so i do recommend some sort of wing ball just to get that extra distance you're going to need to hit it and aiming it is going to be the hardest part and of course and watch out for the nine tails as this thing can definitely take you out and be a problem so i may recommend taking it out first an unknown p can be found right behind the tombstone at the end of veilstone cape right behind the rock hanging from the wall Next up is Unknown N, which can be found over on Sands Reach. And right on the eastern pillar, you'll see Unknown N, another one that where you're going to want to have some sort of wing ball just to make it much easier for you to actually catch it. Next up is Unknown Q, which can be found right to the entrance of Turnback Cave. So here's the entrance and right to the left of the entrance, you can find Unknown Q hanging on the tree, being a cutie. And the last unknown in Cobalt Coastlands is at the Deadwood Haunt. Up on this ship's mass, you wanna throw a wing ball at it. You maybe hit it with a frag or ultra ball, but this is the second ship next to the camp, so super easy to get. Next up is all the unknowns in the Coronet Highlands. And our very first one can be found at the west end of Celestic Ruins. Right on top of this tall pillar, we can actually get ourselves an unknown an easy back strike. You could climb this with Sneezer or you can fly up here as well. Next unknown is found in the ancient quarry area. This is actually located right behind the Alpha Gujra. So past the Alpha Gujra up on this rock formation, you're gonna be able to see, it looks like an unknown F to me. It's a little bit tricky to actually hit this one. So I do recommend going down using a wing ball and trying to hit it as well, but it's a little bit tricky overall. There we go. Next up is Unknown J, which is found within the ancient quarry. So you wanna go underground to get this one. And in the middle of the quarry, you wanna use a wing ball or a jet ball to hit this unknown. And there we go. So yeah, it's sort of right in the middle of the room looking directly over on that side. Next up in Wayward Cave in Coronet Highlands, we're gonna be going through the cave and we're gonna make a right. Then we're gonna make another right here, and then we're gonna make a hard left. And there's gonna be a breakable rock you can just throw your Pokemon at, and when you break that rock, you'll be able to see the unknown L just hanging out on the wall here. Next up is unknown P that can be found in the fabled springs area, and it can be found in a patch of flowers right across from where the Clefable would be on the other side. And this is a very easy one to get. Just do a point blank catch. Next up is the Alabaster Icelands Unknown. And our very first one is actually gonna be near the Alpha Frostlast, but in order to get to this unknown, we need to go to this map, on, this location on the map, to this underground cave, and we're just gonna go jump down. And then once in the underground cave, we're just gonna be going down, and the unknown is gonna actually be on one of these pillars here. And we're gonna keep on going until we see the unknown. And the unknown is right over here. So unknown O is catchable right on this pillar. Watch out for the frost last as this thing will definitely try to murder you. So keep that in mind and you may want to catch that frost last first. Next up is unknown T in the Alabaster Icelands. And this one's relatively easy to get. He is right next to Avalog's Legacy on the top of, next to the big iceberg. So just gotta fly or climb on top of this and you'll be able to get this unknown T. Next up is Unknown U that can be found at the top of the waterfall in Hearts Crag. And behind the statue at the top of the waterfall, you're gonna be able to see the Unknown U right there. Over at the Icebound Falls, we can find Unknown Y. So right at the S of the Unknown Falls, we'll see the Unknown Y just hanging out right on the frozen waterfall area. And the last unknown in Alabaster Icelands is at the Snowfall Hot Spring area. And looking up at the tree, you can see the unknown exclamation point just hanging from the top of the tree right behind where the waterfall is. This is also where you can get a Riolu as well. And with that, guys, we have caught all the unknowns in Pokemon Legends Arceus, and we've completed our unknown research notes. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time with more Pokemon action. Peace out, and have a great one.